Hello, my beautiful Patreon family, and welcome to our second tips and tricks painting video. Today, I want to go over creasing and the colors that I use for my creasing mix. So I'm gonna start off with color number one, which is this purple number one. And then we have color number two, which is crimson number one. And then we have color number three, which is burnt umber. And then we have color number four, which is titanium white. And then we have color number six, which is, or actually number five, which is magenta 06. And then we have color number six, which is magenta 03. So in total, there are six colors that I like to use in order to create my creasing mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some thinner into my color well, and I'm going to start with Crimson 01. I like to consider Crimson 01 as my base color, so I apply, apply a relatively good amount of Crimson 01 into my thinner. The next color that I like to use um, is purple number one and I do always mix or create my mix in this order so always crimson 01 then purple 01 then burnt umber which is the color that I'm applying now After applying these three colors, I like to use titanium white and the titanium white is going to give me a lighter version of the paint that is already in the color bowl. So now instead of having this really dark burgundy color, we're going to have a more lighter or pastel -y burgundy color if that makes any sense so right now I'm actually applying a little bit more crimson 01 and purple 01 because I added a little too much burnt umber so don't think I'm doing something secretly I um, I was just making up for the fact that there was too much burnt umber but now I am applying the titanium white and we are going to get a lighter version of that burgundy tone that we have in there Once I get to this point of my creasing color, I apply some magenta 06, and this color is going to serve to continue to lighten my mix, but at the same time, I'm applying some purpley, reddish tones into my color, and that is going to take me into the direction that I want for my creasing color. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix in my color and I noticed that I need to lighten my mix just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more titanium white, but I could have done this sooner when I first applied titanium white. I guess I just didn't add enough and I noticed it. So now I am applying some titanium white and getting my color into that more lighter burgundy shade that I'm looking for. Stephanie likes to describe this color as an antique rose and I definitely see that color that um that description um but I I see it more of like a burgundy pastel -y color I don't know it's difficult to explain because I just made this color up <laughs> and I love it so I um I don't have an actual name for it other than just creasing color
I'm going to include some photos now where I show you guys dolls that I have created that have this color of creasing on them because um, I know some of you might see might think of this color as a, an odd color for creasing but I really adore this color I think it's so beautiful and I love the way that it applies on the dolls so I have been using this color for years and years and years um, by years and years and years I mean more like five years <laughs> but I I love it so if you guys like the way that it looks on my dolls then by means go ahead and use it if you feel like you have to change it a little bit or you want to add something different go ahead and alter it it does not offend me in any way some people feel like they have to ask permission but you really don't it's art and art is free and you go ahead and alter it and change it into something you like more So now we are going to get ready to crease our baby. I like to use this e.l.f. concealer brush. It is my absolute favorite when it comes to creasing my babies. And then I use a regular liner brush. Um, sometimes I make the liner brushes a little bit thinner because sometimes they're too thick for my liking. And um, so yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I apply my creasing color. So our model for the day is little twin A and I have already neutralized her and she is ready for some creasing. So with my liner brush, I grab just a little bit of creasing color and I apply it very carefully onto the crease. I apply just very little of it because with my concealer brush, I'm going to go ahead and drag that paint across the crease and blend it out. So that is the only thing that I like to do with the concealer brush is use it as a form of shading or um, blending the creasing color. And with my liner brush, I apply the paint. So I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and do this around the nose, um, on the neck area, behind the ears, inside of the ears. I don't do it inside of the nostrils in this video, but I can show you guys also how I blend the color inside of the nostrils. It can be a little tricky, but it's very easy at the same time. Once you get the idea of how to blend the color inside of the nostril. So what I did here was just add a little bit of thinner because my paint was just a little too thick and then I cleaned around of the the color well in order to be able to remove the color that comes on the brush um, just to have that clean space to be able to do that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and crease the nostrils and I hope you guys enjoy this relaxing music while you watch me crease the rest of the doll.
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or just anything about this video, please go ahead and leave it in the comment section below so that other people can see it. But if you rather contact me privately, please do so through Patreon so I make sure I reply to you in a timely manner. But anyway, again, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I'll talk to all of you soon. Bye.